Hey there, it's me, Dave. If you're like me, you take all of the DOT rules very seriously. As a professional driver, it's our duty to make sure we know all the regulations that apply to us, as well as those that apply to our scrap company. And today, we need to talk about a new way that the state and federal DOT inspectors will be looking at us starting this year. The DOT has been testing this new enforcement initiative that they call CSA 2010, or the Comprehensive Safety Analysis 2010. It's important to understand why the DOT is making this change and the details of how it'll affect you and me, drivers. DOT is really all about preventing crashes. And you and I both know that commercial vehicle crashes are often a much bigger deal than car wrecks. So CSA 2010 is designed to get a much better picture of a driver's history as a predictor of future crash likelihood. You know, this means you and I are going to be more closely scrutinized, so it might help to know what it is they'll look at in detail during all roadside inspections. And you know those contract haulers that our company uses from time to time? They'll be looked at the same way as us, and our company needs to make sure these guys are qualified too even though they don't work for us. CSA 2010 has some very important parts that we'll talk about, and I think the most important is this new way they intend to evaluate drivers. They want to take a closer look at our behaviors. The DOT inspectors will do this when they pull you over for a moving violation or a routine inspection at the scales. They've created a safety management system, or SMS, that includes something called BASIC. This is what affects you and me. BASIC stands for Behavior Analysis Safety Improvement Categories. And you and I will be scored on how we do during a roadside review of these seven categories. You might want to write this down or take a look at the ISTRI Safety website to see what these seven categories are. No, they're not the seven deadly sins but they could be for you if you're not on top of things. Number one is unsafe driving. If you get pulled over for operating in an unsafe manner, like speeding, reckless driving, or improper lane changes, the DOT will think you're a dangerous or unsafe driver. Depending on the severity of what you did, you'll get a score in this category that affects your basic score. Number two is fatigued driving. The inspector will do an assessment of you and figure out if you're sick, tired, or out of compliance with the hours of service rules. You'll get a score based on this evaluation too. Number three is driver fitness. No, there won't be a donut eating contest, but it is all about fitness to operate a commercial motor vehicle, which would include stuff like having a valid CDL or being medically qualified to operate a truck. The DOT rules actually specify what is considered fitness for duty, which you should already know. Number four is controlled substances or alcohol. If you even look like you're impaired due to alcohol or illegal drugs or misuse of prescription or even over-the-counter medications, you're in a boatload of trouble. If you're messed up, you'll get a real high score in this category, no pun intended, and probably get yanked off the road and maybe even arrested. The fifth basic category is vehicle maintenance. You might think the company is responsible for maintaining your trucks and trailers, and they are, but you have an important role too. Any driver who leaves the yard with a truck that hasn't been inspected and ends up failing a roadside inspection due to a maintenance issue is your problem. You might even be placed out of service, and that means a big bad score for both you and your company. Number six is cargo related. You know those binding chains and straps you use on your load? They need to be the right ones for the load with the right spacing, adequate for the load, and in good condition. This is your responsibility too. Any cargo securement violation will get you big points. This also includes overweight conditions, like my mother-in-law Ethel, that fat ass. And finally, the number seven category, basic, is crash indicator. The inspector will pull up your records on a laptop and take a look at your history, looking for patterns of bad driving behavior, crashes, and violations. 
they could go back as far as 36 months, even if you worked for more than one company. That's a lot of your driving history. They'll take a close look at the frequency and severity of violations and crashes and use a formula to come up with another score. It could be good or it could be bad. And you should remember that the more recent your crash or violation, the higher the score, automatically. When this seven point basic score gets calculated, it goes into the computerized database of all these motor carrier inspections. This CSA 2010 initiative will replace what is now called SafeStat, the online motor carrier rating that anyone can have a look at, even your competitors. This year, when the new CSA 2010 rating system is on the DOT's website, your company's SafeStat score will go away. A high score has always been a bad thing, and DOT compares your score with other carriers of similar size to come up with their rating. If your company has a high score, they may think you're an unsafe operator. Your personal score has a direct impact on your company's score. It's a very big deal. For you, driver, here's a couple examples of how this new, more comprehensive inspection may impact your future. The history of crashes will give you high points. Defective tires, steering, or suspensions will get you big scores. Violating hours of service or out of service rules will get you nailed. And any unsecured load is a big deal. It's all about frequency and severity. There is one good thing about this new driver evaluation system. If you get low points in all seven basic categories, the overall score you and your company gets will go down. That's what DOT wants to see and your company should work hard to accomplish. If you get a really good inspection, you should insist that the inspector does a report. It'll probably mean lower insurance costs and some of that extra money might end up in your pocket. I'm on your side. The bottom line has always been, you need to operate safely or not at all.